Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for is this going to be new love or extra turns? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. If you guys are interested in taking my six week long mentorship class, I've been reading trolls since I've been 14 years old, so I have a lot to teach you guys. So all the information is in the description box below, or you can go to my website again at jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so what are we gonna talk about here, Scorpio? We are gonna be talking about new love and i have a couple of different positions for this so definitely it's going to give you a lot of information scorpio if you're really dealing with like what's going on like all right so definitely going to break it down so feel free to take notes or whatever you need to do and also we're also going to be looking at your extra turns as well and i also have added a couple more positions because i want to really dig down deep on what's going on here because it's about giving you guys information and, and you guys clarity to what's going on with your situation. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump in. Does Scorpio have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so this is going to be a 10-card spread. One, two... Three. I'll, I'll, don't worry, I'm gonna explain every position. I told you it's gonna be very extensive here. Okay, let's go to the first position, which is the current. Okay, so in the current situation, you could be doing some travel, there could be a faraway energy, um, wanting to accomplish or complete something here. Um, could be dealing with somebody far away, foreign, or travel involved with this situation. Okay, so let's keep going. Does Scorpio have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, in the current. Wow, got love there. So far away energy, travel, wanting to accomplish something with new love in the current, okay. Could be far away or travel involved with this. Okay, so let's, let's keep going here, Scorpio. Does yeah, Scorpio have huge potential for new love? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. Whoa, Scorpio, look at this. Timing is changing. Well, we do have a lot of stuff coming up in astrology. Um, got solar, uh, got some eclipse coming up in October. Um, you got Rahu changing positions October around October 20th. So things are happening for you guys. Um, so we see that there is a wheel of fortune coming in. So blessings coming in, guys. Something here is happening. Okay, so some movement happening here in a good way. All right, does Scorpio have huge potential for new love? In the next three months, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone that you've known before. Okay, so in the current. All right, so we see what's the blockage here for new love? Actions, um, energy. Remember, everything is energy. Everything is energy. Even money is energy. So some lack of energy here. Effort, communication. We see letter, message. Some, some of you guys are waiting on communication from somebody. And possibly you want a long-term happy energy, right? Ten of Cups. Yep, Sun card. So there could be people coming in that you're like, Ew, this person's not going to, doesn't make me happy. I don't really like that. Uh, also, some of you guys are waiting on some kind of communication from somebody. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So what's going on with your foundation? Mm, twin flame, soulmate card here. Uh, divinely guided connection. And a surprise around this. So some of you guys could have connected with somebody you thought was your, or felt was your twin flame soulmate connection because this is the foundation you've built and there was some kind of surprise about this situation. It was a rather shock and surprise, okay. And now it's like a lot of deep, heavy soul searching going on about this. 
uh, feeling like isolation, separation, loneliness there in the foundation. Okay. What happened in the past? There was an ending of a connection here with the death card energy. And yeah, some of you guys have ended communication, something about ending of communication. Uh, let's keep going. And making an effort. So someone possibly ghosted someone or there hasn't been communication. And it was somebody who considered a friend or someone who considered you a friend. Okay. So it was one of those situationships there. Uh, looks like with the friend card coming out. Okay. Let's see. Going further, let's just kind of bring it all together so far. So we see stuff to do with the past, someone from the past. We see happiness, joyful energy. We see about this separation, this isolation, single and available to pursue. We see this loyalty, this friendship. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. What is your goal? To confess some kind of truth, to have a conversation. To receive something of value and worth. To get some kind of knowledge, book card energy of abundance. Okay. Abundance of loyalty. Loyalty. Abundance of loyalty. Okay. All right. So let's look at what's going to happen in the immediate future. Ooh, Scorpio. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like you are in this defeated mode here with the Six of Swords. And you see how this, 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 for, this for me, this would be the picture I would use for a Six of Swords, but I mean for the uh, Five of Swords. But they're using this for the Six of Swords. So for me, this is like more like the Five of Swords, like a, I'm so defeated. But this is the Six of Swords showing me that you're in this mode of like, I give up. I'm just going to walk away and I don't know what to do. And then you just, you get this clarity. And you're like, okay, I can overcome this. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm going to overcome my obstacles, blockages. So this is the card saying that obstacles and blockages in your romantic love life will be removed. And here we got a person saying, I want to be there for you. I want to do stuff for you, Scorpio. I'm single and available to pursue. And then we go further on this. And we see you're going to have a conversation. This conversation is what's going to make you feel like, huh, that's it. And we see what's it to do with someone who wants to kiss and make up. So it is someone you have known from before there in the immediate future there. But we're going to get more information about the extra turns. But there is somebody here that you have known from before. And how do you know that? If I go to the card above it, we see that someone, some memories of the past, someone that you've dealt with before, kiss and make up, OK? So, what's in your subconscious? What's going on with the subconscious mind here? You're holding on to someone for a pentacles energy. And we see wanting to spend alone time, or you're thinking about that alone time that you had with that person. And this is causing you a sense of confusion in your subconscious mind. Because it is a main person that you have on your mind there, in your subconscious. So you do have someone in particular that you are confused about, need clarity on. Okay, so far, huh, looks like you're going to find out that this person is single and available to pursue. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so far, let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. What's your influence? The influence is about somebody who had walked away, eight of cups, and now is saying, hey, I want to be with you. And then we got this ex-partner card coming out and we got main person wow that's quite an influence we haven't even got to the extra turns reading yet okay but you can see oh, that's a really great line up there okay so all those of you guys who read other systems you know what I'm talking about if you read the Kipper the Gypsy right the Lenormand the two main people cards are facing each other that's amazing that's amazing that's amazing. And like having a conversation. Hey, what's up? Okay, that's a good uh, positioning too. Because they mean things when they're different ways. Like let's say if they were this way, or they were this way, or they were this way, they all mean something different. But that's a really good position there. The two main people cards are facing each other. That's awesome. Okay, so 
let's now move into what's going on with the hopes and fears. And there is the defeated energy as I was talking to you about. This defeated energy, I don't know if I should stand up and fight or walk away from this reunion. And we see you're going make, to make a decision very soon. Because this is something that you wanted, okay? Fulfillment of desires. So now let's talk about new love here. Now, it is saying you do have the ability to have new love here, okay? Because we have the chariot card. Chariot is a yes card. So we can see a victory if you take charge of this. So whenever you see kings or you see chariot or emperors, they are representing you guys. So if you want new love, you got to take charge of this, right? So that's what it's saying here. This has to be in your willpower, your desire. That's the, the emperor, um, excuse me, the chair card energy. Yeah, because there's regrets here that you're dealing with from the past. And you're at a crossroads, as I said. And we see you're stuck about it. Okay, you're stuck on that. Okay, so if you desire it, okay, it, I, I know some of you guys are coming to me in the comments, but if you desire it, it is saying it is here, but you just have to desire it because you're still dealing with this stuff in the past here. It has to be resolved. And so let's talk about it. So someone that you've known from before is going to bring great happiness to you because of this separation, isolation, single and available to pursue. We see the loyalty and devotion and abundance of kissing and making up. We do two main people, fulfillment of desires, and we see stuck energy. Okay. It's like people, they, they want to face each other. They want to talk. They're like, hey, let's talk. Let's communicate. Okay, so it's going to happen at the right time. You're going to be very happy. There's going to be major changes here, and there's going to be effort made. You're going to gain knowledge of this communication. You're going to be really confused and lack clarity because of this person from the past, and you're going to have to make a decision because you're going to be at the crossroads. Okay, bottom of the deck here. Yep, opportunity presents itself. Happiness, concerns of deception, lying, new love, uncertainty, cautiousness about a relationship because of uh, lack of balance. Yep, here we go. Love, good news, surprise, conversation, receiving something of value. I'm single and available to pursue. Let's meet up together and spend some alone time. I want to be with you. Let's reunite and talk about the regrets about the past. Okay, let's keep going here, Scorpio. Okay, um, we have the world card, traveling, communication, relationship, a soulmate, twin flame soulmate card, or relationship ends for a new beginning, a confession is, is given. Uh, we see some kind of truth being spoken confession, which allows you to overcome obstacles. I wanna hold on to you. I walked away from this defeated energy and now I have a victory, chariot card. All right, let's get you guys some advice. For those that are looking for a brand, brand new love, let's take a look. All right, can I have some advice for my Scorpios who are looking for a brand, brand new love? What can they do to make this happen? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. It is saying that you can have a win-win outcome on this, Scorpio. Just... Give yourself some time to meditate and contemplate. Follow your heart. And don't let your emotions run away with you here. Don't be confused in your emotions. You, you're ending this tough cycle. It's approaching. But you're going to have to heal what I say because the stuff in the past here is coming up. Prosperity lies ahead for you guys. So don't get frustrated. Be uh, the one to make the bold move because you got the chariot cards. You got to... You gotta, Take control of this and will this because remember, guys, you're gonna you wherever your energy goes, right? Your focus goes where your energy goes. So if your focus is on this person from the past, that's where it's gonna go. If you really want to focus your energy on someone new, you gotta focus on someone new. So you gotta take your will and focus it on that. Right? That's the key of manifestation, focusing the will. 
Okay, so saying you're good enough and that you know what the bigger picture is here and a new start is coming. Because it's saying the Wheel of Fortune, the timing is aligning. And Scorpio, um, depending on what kind of astrology you uh, um, look at, I mean, um, if you do the Vedic astrology, Rahu is moving into um, Pisces. And Pisces is in your house, the fifth house of romance, if you're looking at it from your rising. So there is some romance coming in, all right? And um, yeah, so that the fifth house, of fifth house of romance is about to be triggered in your chart on October 20th, around October 20th. All right, so anyway, it's timing is changing, okay? So definitely got some good timing there. All right, so let's talk about your extra turn. So, does Scorpio have huge potential to reconcile with their ex-love interest in the next three months? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And you know I like to use different decks here. Does Scorpio have huge potential to reconcile with their ex-love interest in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Now, this one, I'm with the one that you got coming in, for the new love, I'm not sure if it's the one you want. So we're going to ask about the one you want, okay, for the X. Some of you guys may have multiple X. Okay, so when it comes to my Scorpio's romantic love life, do they have huge potential to reconcile with their ex love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one they want in the next three months. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Does Scorpio have huge potential to reconcile with their ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? Next three months, show my cards you need to see, show my cards you need to see. Okay, let's take a look. In the past, in the past there was some kind of decision that was made. Just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. Okay, so some kind of decision was made. Um, to put restrictions, boundaries, or be cautious. And we see what's that about with the main person. So. Main person, we see there's some cautious, defensive energy about a decision. And this could have been a person who you had already um, broke up with, got back together with, or uh, there may have been a decision to reconcile with somebody else. Okay, so we see that there was some kind of reconciliation, healing energy with the main person and the decision that was being made in the past there. So what are you not seeing about this connection? There's been a lot of confusion with the Seven of Cups energy. And uh, there was like a lot of unknowns. Like, it's like there's like a lack of clarity with, the, with, with you or the other person. But it was like a real happy surprise. Like this connection was a real happy surprise. Um, but definitely a lot of spiritual uh, signs here with the Hermit card energy uh, and and it caused a lot of like weird kind of like, I don't understand this, but this is amazing, but I don't understand this kind of energy. Okay, so let's keep going here. So what's the blockage? Somebody had walked away or they're avoiding their emotions or someone needs to walk away from someone else to be single and available to pursue. And we see uh, going to the next card Timing, luck, and the timing needs to align first. So something about timing here. So that's still the block. It's not exactly time yet or something about timing. Okay, so, but the timing is aligning though. So let's, let's see how, uh, how your person is with you right now. At the current, they're defeated. Oh, they want to spend some alone time with you. May want to have a, a small meeting or spend some be, uh, private time with you. Oh, okay. They want some fulfillment of desires here because they they definitely are realizing that there's a love connection here, romance. Okay, so how's your person feel about you? They feel like you're very independent. They're hoping you're single and available to pursue. Yep, they're hopeful. Um, maybe feel like you're financially independent. There's a definitely a want for loyalty and devotion here with a dog card. And they're realizing actually that you have everything that they need for a long-term commitment and romance with the king card energy coming out. 
So it's like they're starting to realize that from their life experience that you are one of the, you know, from their options that they're looking at, you're the best option for them because of the, your sense of independence, maybe even financial independence, or, you know, um, having more than enough, like, you know, Nine of Pentacles to talk about like spiritual and material, like you're very balanced in that. And uh, also, you know, there's a sense of friendship or loyalty, devotion, so you guys really get along really well as well. So anyway, so let's keep going. So how do they feel about reconciling? Hmm, High Priestess card. They're trying to listen to their intuition or, I don't like when the, when the High Priestess card comes out because you know it's like the Rune card. It's like something yet to be known, okay. Cause there's some kind of concerns about infringing parties. So they don't know if there's another person, maybe a new person in your life or some kind of infringing party. So there's an unknown there for that person. But they are obsessed and they are thinking about you. And uh, if we go further on this, they feel a little bit stuck because they don't know what's going on. So I get the sense that they're pretty stuck, but they're, they're obsessively thinking like, oh, there's got to be Scorpios looking. There's got to be something, somebody else around. I'm not sure what to do here. Okay, what's your advice? Your advice is saying you're actually about to get clarity. Okay, you're about to get answers and clarity here uh, about this person. So we got the Ace of Swords. You're, you're about to have a victory. And we see, don't want to do anything foolish. Uh, make sure this isn't transactional. Okay. Yeah, this it's telling you your answers. You're about to get clarity, Scorpio. The answers that you need are coming with the key card energy about this person's regrets. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, it's saying don't reflect on these unhealthy things from the past. Forgive yourself and let the healing begin. But you are about to get some clarity. You are about to get some answers about this situation with this person. So you, you know, the answers that you need about this person are coming. Okay, so that is definitely expect that. Some clarity here. So far, what do we got, Scorpio? We got, I want to apology. I want to apology. I want to reconcile. Uh, you're going to gain some kind of knowledge when the timing is right about these feelings and the fact that you're the wisest decision. I can't stop thinking about you and I regret what happened. Wow. Okay, let's go to the final card here. Whoa, Scorpio. So that must be the same person then because we got the King of Wands. King of Wands. Lots of chemistry and passion. So that's a yes. That is a yes. Oh my goodness, they're coming in. Like, I want to be with you. Okay. Okay, so yes, you're about to get clarity. That's about to be a victory for you guys. And they're trying to find out, are you single and available to pursue? Okay. Because I want a commitment. What? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Scorpio. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Um... Let's bring it all together, or they're going to just keep repeating the same pattern. It's also going to be the ring card, too, but I feel like most of you guys, it's the same luck, and we also know that there's a lot of changes coming in in astrology as well. There is going to be some big changes coming up for you guys. Okay, shocking changes. Mm -hmm. Well, that would, it wouldn't be a Scorpio reading if it wasn't shocking and surprising, though, because you guys are like the Phoenix rising. Okay, so we see an apology. You're going to gain knowledge when the time is right about their feelings. And letting you know you're the wisest decision for me. I'm obsessed. I can't stop thinking about you. I regret this commitment. What? Okay, let's bring it all together here. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like you're going to have to make a decision. Are you lying to me? You're going to make a decision very soon about people, relationship. Bringing things into balance, worried, stress. I'm going to give you some time, delays and challenges, spiritual signs of missing you. Okay, lots of soul searching here. Okay, main person, happy surprise. Maybe giving you a gift here. Lucky, at the right time, fulfillment of desires. We see loyalty, friendship, stuck energy, answers that you need are coming about single and available to pursue. So it's like this person may have been in a relationship, but leaving a relationship, coming forward. Serious, they're serious. Okay, so we got these cautious, restrictive energies, gaining knowledge about single and available to pursue. We see alone time, hopeful, 
we see that there is some self-doubt or infringing party here and concerns about being foolish, but we see that um, they're coming in like, I want to be with you. So I get the sense that they maybe they are trying to figure out if you are available to pursue single and available like they are. Okay, so a decision needs to be made. You're, ma you're looking at your options because we see there's options here for you. Uh, someone's walking away from a defeated energy and we see single and available to pursue. We see you already, some of you Scorpios may have already gotten some kind of signs or messages with the higher, uh, high priestess card energy. Like you may have gotten some dreams or messages here because, and or you're about to get more, even more because we see, we see next to the Ace of Swords, which shows me that you're like, aha, aha, that's what they were trying to tell me, aha. That's what they were trying to tell me, aha, see? And then they're coming in like, I have strong chemistry and passion. And look at this, this person's got passion for you, but they're not coming in like the Knight of Wands energy. They're coming in like, I'm not going nowhere. I'm sticking around, let's just go to the, yep. Complete emotional fulfillment, 10 of cups energy coming out, okay? Complete emotional fulfillment there. Okay, so let's just get more information here, Scorpio. Let's give you guys some advice. So this is advice for, you know, you guys who want to reconcile with your ex. It's completely up to you. All right, so nice advice for my Scorpios when it comes to their ex love interest, the highest, best good for the best possible outcome for them and what they should do. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Say your choice, your choice. Honor your soul's path. Listen to your, your intuition. Scorpio, you, as I always tell you guys, Scorpio, you guys are natural born psychic. Come on, you're dealing with the eighth house, occult knowledge. Come on, you got this. All right, so this situation calls for you to be adaptable, but if you're determined, you're gonna get there. So if you wanna reconcile with this person, if you're determined, you're gonna get there, okay? It's saying you know what the deal is because the, the dragonfly is there. Dragonfly is a surefire sign of change, major changes. You know who you are. Now, obviously things need to be healed here with you and this person. And you have to feel safe for it, you know, for you to love this person. So you have to make sure that there is healing happening and you feel safe uh, when it comes to, you're not cautious, defensive, like because still some things have to be resolved here. And saying, go ahead and just do it. You've made some mistakes, both of you guys made mistakes, but if you want to take a risk on this, trust your higher self. Okay. And also, it's interesting, isn't it, for you guys, that this is talking about with your person that this is a, uh, a destined connection because it's saying that's honoring your soul's path. And also it's saying that you have to listen to your intuition. You're getting signs about it. So trust in your higher self. So anyway, very interesting read. Okay, my beautiful Scorpios, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Yes, you want to read from your com my comments. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.